that's a very good question. I have to say, in my own life, I've never seen that as the case. I've always been a believer in evolution since I was age 17 or 18 at school, doing biology. I've always felt that evolution is the best explanation that we have biologically for the origins of all the biological diversity that we see in the world around us. I became a Christian when I was 13, so when I began to learn about evolution, I simply saw them as part of God's creation. I've always seen uh, evolutionary theory as just the way that God brings about his creative process in the world. It's the way that God chooses to bring about this wonderful diversity that we see. So I've never seen um, evolution as being an idea that supports atheism, or I've never seen evolution as being anti-religious. And as a matter of fact, if you go back and look at the writings of Charles Darwin, Charles Darwin believed the same. Charles Darwin, uh, when he wrote The Origin of Species, the great book that describes first evolution for us, he was actually what we call a deist. He was someone who believed in a God who establishes the laws that set up the universe. But he himself was not really a practicing Christian at that time, and he gradually kind of lost his faith as time went on. But he lost his faith not because of the theory of evolution, he lost his faith because of suffering, really. His, his daughter died, and he went through a period of suffering and doubt and so on. And it was really not to do with his science that he lost his faith. As a matter of fact, Darwin always said that you can be a, a very good believer in God and you can believe in evolution. And he said, look at my friend Asa Gray. Asa Gray at that time was professor of natural history at Harvard University. He was a committed Christian. He was a great friend of Darwin. He was a correspondent of Charles Darwin. And it was Asa Gray who actually arranged for the publication of The Origin of Species in North America. And Asa Gray helped to popularize uh, evolution in North America. And so, because of him, Darwin, Darwin said, look, you can, anyone can be a believer in, in God and you can understand that evolution is simply a description of uh, the way that God works in the world and the way that God creates living things. So I think, um, you know, people who claim that evolution is some kind of atheistic, uh, kind of atheistic program are simply wrong. I think, you know, they've misunderstood evolution. They don't really, maybe they misunderstand it, they think it's a philosophy. Evolution is not a philosophy. It's not telling us about the future of humankind or something. It's simply a, the best explanation we have for understanding the wonderful biological diversity we see in the world and especially, uh, of course, here in Brazil.